be started. Right. We are, I need to get out the wind. We are just starting the Hayden Swall hike. We're at a place called the Banks, which is the start, um, basically on the on the water here. Um, I hadn't actually realised, but you, there's a Hadrian's Wall path passport, and you stamp along the way with various little stamps. So, fortunately, the pub in uh, Bonus on Selway actually sells the the passports for five ninety nine. So if you forget, go there, and you can get stamps along the way to say that you've done it. So we're going to set off now. Whoever looks okay. Um, so yeah, let's go. <laughs> there you go. Sorry, I'm trying to hide from the wind. We've just done the first two hours, so we're about halfway for our first day. To be honest, the first bit's a bit boring. You kind of just go along the road, inland a bit, back out to the, the coast again. But actually, now we're walking along the actual wall. So this here, this hill, is the actual wall. So that's quite cool. So we'll keep going. No rain so far, so everybody's happy. We've done our first day of uh, Hadrian's Wall. Um, it was a bit of a logistical challenge, to be fair, today. It's quite hard to get to Bowness on Sol Solway by public transport. You kind of can't, there's only three buses. One very early in the morning, and then like two more, but they're at weird times. It takes quite a while, so we got a taxi, which was fine. The walk we did today was from Bowness on Solway to a place called Roman Wall Lodges campsite, which is quite nice. This is it. Um, got quite good facilities. The guy who welcomed us here was very friendly. The hike was only 16 kilometers, so not really very much today. Um, it's more of like a, a starter hike to get us going. Over the next few days, we'll do some bigger ones, which is great. The actual hike from Bonas on Solway to here first 16 kilometers the first like two hours is basically like road and gravel tracks um, you go along the the coast and then you go inland a bit then back out to the coast then you walk along the the wall it's not really a wall it's more of a mound for probably about an hour and a half and then you go up through some villages and into the inland then um, which is quite pretty fields and things but I think it will get more and more pretty as we go um, so yeah We've set up the tent, got everything ready for tonight. There's a pub down the road near this campsite, which we're going to go to now to have some food and a, a beer or two. And then we'll start again tomorrow. So as you can see, it rained a bit last night. And the forecast isn't that great for today either. But slept well. Nothing's really that wet. So on for another day. We're on our way for day two. And as you can see, it's a bit soggy. Look at Bagel's lovely little coat. How cute is that? Yeah, we've not had an early start because we've not got very far to go today either. About 20k? 19k? 19? I think it's 19 kilometres. So we're basically going to be walking from uh, 
where we are now, which is Roman Lodge's campsite in Monk Hill, to Belie Tarn, which is the other side of Carlisle near the airport, <coughs> near places, one of the places is called Crosby on Eden. And we'll go right through the middle of Carlisle along the river, which I believe is where the wall goes. So, as we've not got that far to go, and it's, I think it's only about nine o'clock now, is it? It is, 9.06. 9.06, we're just gonna take it easy. Probably stop in Carlisle, might get a Mackey's breakfast or something if we're there on time, and then press on for the afternoon. But hopefully it doesn't rain all day. I think it's supposed to stop at two. So, fingers crossed to the, the sun gods that that happens. Oh, he's lost his foot again. Bagel, stop. just arriving in Carlisle and as you can see there's a lovely pretty river here that you walk along hopefully the footage actually recorded but I got my drone out to film some of it and made well I don't actually know how it happened because I'm pretty sure I wasn't pressing those buttons on the controls but I crashed it into the river and it sat at the bottom of the river for like 30 seconds I had to go in and get it so we'll see whether it survives I hope so because I bought it, paid for it, I wanted to get some footage this week and in other trips. If not, use my story as a, uh, a warning to those who are amateur drone people. <laughs> Don't go near water. It's just not worth it. <laughs> Episode two of the watery drone adventure. Um, fortunately, well, I don't know if it's fortunately yet, but just as we came off the river there was a um, leisure centre so I went in there with the drone and the gentleman behind my desk very kindly allowed me to use their hand dryers so I've given it a very 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 thorough hot blast so fingers crossed it's saved I still think it might not be I've done a bit of googling um, people have saved them before so um, we'll see We'll see. But I'm not going to try it again today because I haven't got a spare battery uh, with me, but there is one in the car. It said never use the wet batteries again. So you'll know whether it worked, whether there's any more drone footage in the rest of this video. <laughs> if not, you can assume the worst. <laughs> being chased by a cow.
good morning. It is day three of our Hadrian's Wall adventure. We stayed at a campsite called Blee Tarn last night, which was okay. It had quite limited facilities, like just a toilet and shower, but they were very clean and everything worked and the owners were really nice. And it was only 10 pounds each per night, so can't go wrong. And we've only just left and that's the path there. So it's, it's literally right on the wall. So it's all good. It did rain a little bit last night, but not that much, don't think, but we all, we all slept well. Today we've got a long hike. We're going all the way to a campsite called Herding Hill Farm, which is near a town called Holt Whistle. So it's about 30 kilometers today, which is quite a lot longer than what we've done. In the last two days, we've tried to set off as early as we can. Um, it doesn't look like there's that many places to stop for lunch along the way. So we're probably just going to have to dive into the first cafe and buy a sandwich to take for the road because we haven't got anything left. Weather's looking nice. Might rain a little bit later, but quite clear so far. We weren't sure whether we'd be able to get a coffee and some something to eat this morning, but we found the Hadrian's Wall snack shed which is basically like an honesty box, but it's very, very well stocked. Everything you could possibly dream of as a hiker. So we're having a coffee, getting some snacks, and then we'll be on the way. So far today is going very successfully. We got snacks and coffee at that little snack shop thing. And then we've just been into Walton Tea Room, which was very pleasant, just to pick up a sandwich to have later. And now we're gonna get our heads down and get the miles in. One mode activated. Our first big hill. The Hayton Gate Hut. Oh, wow. Another great honesty box here called the Hayton Gate Hut. This one's particularly good because everything's a pound and it's got um, pot noodles and pasta and sauces, drinks and ice lollies. So another, another good stop. We had a, a brief lunch stop with our coronation chicken paninis that we got from Walton Tea Room, which were good. We're now at uh, Birderswold Roman Fort, where we're gonna get our next stamp on the passport. <laughs> Why did you get some, tell me before I did it? I didn't notice. 
We've just walked through a village called Gillsland and I think it's my new favourite place. As we walked in there was a sign saying something about they've got a community taxi that you can call and there's loads of like community stuff everywhere. And then we went through the children's park and there was an epic slide going down a hill, probably the biggest slide I've ever seen. And the play area even had a um, trampoline in it. So I think I'm going to move here. We are now at probably, I don't know whether it definitely is, but probably the highest point on Hadrian's Wall. The bit where it's on a cliff face the whole way. And as we were approaching, it really started raining. So we are soaking wet. And it's probably the worst point on the wall for it to rain. So we've been lucky all day, had sun. But yeah, we are now very wet. We're about six kilometers from the campsite. So looking forward to that and a hot meal. Rain's finally stopped. You can probably see on the horizon, that's like the weather from earlier today, that's the weather from the last few hours. But it's very pretty, very nice. It's alive! <laughs> you on? Day four of hiking Hadrian's Wall. Today we're at, well we're starting the day at Herding Hill Farm. We had a rest day yesterday, went to Vindolanda. We unfortunately had to drop a dog off at a sitter because he was struggling a little bit and we felt it was mean to push him all the way to Newcastle. So he's now living a life of luxury with a lovely sitter. So yeah, we're going from Holt Whistle today, all the way along the wall, to a place called Fallowfield, which I think it was here. So that's the walk we're doing today, which is about 31 kilometers again. It's quite a big day. So it's now just gone seven, just packing up, having a coffee, had some porridge. We've also like been really good and pre-made all of our food for the next few days. So we're not gonna need to stop at all for lunches, snacks, or dinners. So hopefully we'll make a good time. We 
we're making good progress already. Sun's come out, so I've got my shades on. Looking like a beautiful day. The helicopter that you just saw is because the National Trust are lifting some stones up to the top of one of the hills. Um, I don't know whether it's for the wall or for the path, I assume for the path, because otherwise the wall would be a bit fake. Um, but unfortunately we've had to take a diversion to avoid it. So the wall's up there somewhere, and then we're going to rejoin in a, a kilometre or so. But it's quite cool to see like the actual operations of maintaining the paths and stuff. I didn't think they'd use a helicopter for that. Must be quite an exciting job. You can actually see Vindalanda from here. Turned out today's extremely hilly well not extremely i'd say very hilly lots of ups and lots of downs so it's quite tiring but we keep going and the day is still lovely so no complaints there at all we've just seen the trig point at the top of sewing shields crag which means that most of the up and down of today is over with and it's fairly flat all the way to our campsite <clears throat> so we're happy that means that we're kind of on the home straight for today Big up Chester's for lovely staff, <laughs> friendly. Okay, well, they didn't give us Coke, we bought Coke. <laughs> but they kindly filled our water bottles up for us in a very friendly and kind manner. But be warned, there is basically no water between Housestead's Fort and Chester's Roman Fort. And it's quite exposed. So if it's a hot day, you're gonna need loads of water. So just keep that in mind. And there's no food or anything either. So, yeah, be careful. We did see a little sign that said in the car park at the Temple to Mithras, I think, um, that they sometimes have a little snack sh shack in the car park there, but it wasn't there. So don't bank on that. Funny little car, micro car. Another top tip, we've just set off through the small town or village of Wall um, to find our campsite for the night. And we've just bumped into some people we met on the trail. And they're literally just camping in the parish green, which also has toilets. And apparently they don't mind hikers uh, camping there for up to 24 hours. 
So um, if you want some free camping, head to Wall. Um, it looked pretty nice actually. It was like just a nice little village. So definitely suggest that. Hiking day number five. It's 8.07. Once again, we tried to leave 4.07, but didn't quite make it. It seems like eight o'clock is our departure time, no matter what time we start getting ready. So <clears throat> we're walking from Fallowfield Dean campsite back to the wall. The nearest bit of wall is, uh, I think called Plain Trees. And then we're walking all the way from there to Hedden on the Wall, where we're camping at a campsite called the Stevenson's Arms. It's about 28k in total, so slightly less than yesterday, but still quite a big day. Um, but so far, it's very pretty walking through this little wood. My stick stuck. Whenever I video anything, things go wrong. The walk has been like mainly along the road and I've just checked the map and it's pretty much along the road the whole way now until you get to heading on the hill and then it goes along the river and the forecast for tonight is really bad. It's basically going to rain all night. So we've just been debating whether we actually just press on today all the way to Newcastle. Um, we've looked at the logistics of it. We, we had a hotel booked in Newcastle. We can move it. We can't get the money back for the campsite, but that wasn't too expensive. So I think we're going to do it, which will mean today is going to be like probably 40k, maybe a bit more. But because it's been so flat, we've been making really good progress. So um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. As you can see, it's literally just like this, but like the whole way. So we're going to stop for lunch, sort out the bookings, make a plan and then hopefully get caffeinated and just press on because it's just going to be grim if we have to like wake up in the rain and set off again. There might be videos later on of us just like crawling along the floor <laughs> into Newcastle. But so I don't think it's a, we haven't quit. We're still going to do the whole thing. We're just doing two days in one to avoid bad weather which I guess is the nature of camping in, in spring rather than summer in the north of England. It never ends. So we made it to Hedden on the Wall, which was our original camping spot today. We thought we'd get here about half past five, but we got here about one o'clock. So we're way ahead of schedule. So we have decided to commit to the plan of making it all the way to Newcastle to that today. We've had our lunch, we've planned... Cancelled our bookings. Cancelled our bookings. Done, done the logistics basically, got it sorted and we're now on our way. So we've probably got another four and a half hours to go today. About 17 kilometers, we think. But we're both pretty knackered. So um, it's gonna be a bit of a challenge, but I think we can do it. 
if not there's plenty of public transport escape points along the way and then we'll finish off tomorrow uh, like come back on the bus again but that is a uh, fall back, fall back, fall back position <clears throat> so wish us luck We've made it to the river, the River Tyne. So we're very much on the home straight now of the final uh, bit of the journey. Just straight along the river basically now, follow it all the way into town and then we'll be at our hotel and we can rest. And then we'll finish off from the hotel to Wall's End tomorrow. The main thing though is it's flat now. It's been proper hilly again today. I thought we were over that, but the actual last bit to heading on the wall. That's quite hilly as well. It's just like a long road with just loads of hills. So um, yeah, it'll be nice to just be on the flat for a little while. So close, one mile. This trail in Newcastle genuinely seems never ending. I feel like I've been walking along this for my entire life at this point. Laura's managed to book us a hotel up the tallest flight of stairs in Newcastle. Final day of Hadrian's Wall. We had a lovely night in our hotel last night. Um, literally just went in and crashed, to be honest. It was such a long day yesterday. Our legs were so sore. And we've come out today to finish it off. So it's basically uh, sort of central Newcastle to Wall's End. Um, and it's wet outside, which means we've definitely made the right choice of um, moving the hotel forward a day and smashing out two days in one because we would have woke up all wet this morning. Um, so we've just avoided that. And we've been able to leave our bags in the hotel, which means we haven't got the weight for the final stretch. So all good. We're going to get some breakfast now at Weatherspoons and then crack on. So close! So close! 
That looks a bit Roman, actually. Do you think that's supposed to be Roman? We're here. We've done it. We did it, and we videoed <laughs> each other. <laughs> Food in the right field as well. <laughs> <laughs> and this is us completing it. <laughs> There's so much pressure now to figure out what to write. <laughs> what are you writing? I don't know. <laughs> Sweet. There it is, the end of Hadrian's Wall. That was quite enjoyable, would you say? Okay. Took five days of walking, although we did have a day off in between. It's been fun, it's been fun. Highly recommend it for those who like hiking and like history. Yeah, maybe don't do 40k on your last don't day. Don't do 40k on your last day. <laughs> Remember that the two sides, the start and the end, aren't very exciting, particularly on the Newcastle side. Um, but I'd say it's probably like a classic English adventure. Yeah, yeah. and be careful with, if you take a dog. Yeah, be careful. 20k max. If you've got a dog, take it easy, because dogs yeah, it can be hard work for dogs. Train back home. The end of the adventure. Oh, <laughs>